Hey guys, we're gonna work with this. It's a Sonyo record player. Sony. Anyway, Sony. That the other one's a Sono. Anyways, uh, the table here is really hard to turn, so that's what we're gonna work with. The eight track on here, don't know if it works. Uh, I gotta hook it to another stereo that I got over there. Either the new one I put over there or the old one. Uh, it's got different size records you can do. Uh, you got your on, your auto. You got something else. I don't even know what this does. It says 7, 10, and 12. You got another thing right back here. Okay, I guess I could use this to show you. Okay. This is the manual for it. Here's how you hook it up. Right here. Uh, it's got different things here for different hertz. Uh, here's the front of it. You get a better look. You got your 8 track. You got your vinyl radio see you got your start button and everything that that was the thing I was telling you about this guy 7 10 and 12 yeah right here it shows everything if I can get it right right there it shows you everything that's on here gets you right there you go, you can pause it and look, it'll tell you everything you need to know. Uh, so, come on. Yeah, 8 track. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to know. Shows you how to change the needle, how to clean the 8 track. Your real. I don't know what the hell that thing is called. You got two different things are open, blah blah blah. Oh, okay. So that. At least C, D, and E. I didn't know it was A and B. Oh well. Uh. Oh, that's how it comes in the box. Shows you how big it is. Well, if you want to know how big it is, I'll get a little closer to you. Right here. Let's see. Okay, it's not an American made. Made in Japan. Anyways, that's what it is. Okay. Uh, I did look at it. I did somewhat try to work on it. I I wasn't going to put this on video, but I kind of changed my mind. Kind of running out of things to do, so I figured mazel. Anyways, there's a couple of plugs on here. We could take this part here off. And this is how it comes up. I did not take it apart. It just sits on here with the little springs. So, this is how they plug it in here. That way you can change the whole top. You can just get a whole new one. Back in the day. I don't know if you can get them now. Uh, let's see how... Hey now, calm down. Okay, did that arm? Oh, arm didn't move. Okay. But the big, the big table is hard to turn. That's why I'm doing this. This part here turns, but the table won't turn, and I don't know why. 
it is really hard. I had it plugged in, tried to turn it on, tried to get it to move, and it just does not want to move. And this is the only time I've had it this far apart. I've only lifted it and looked at it, and that was pretty much it. Okay. Okay, that's for the arm for the needle. This here is the power button, which I did look at it at a few things. I didn't take it apart or nothing. But why won't the table move is the question. Oh, come on, you damn needle. I thought you were supposed to stay in there. Okay. So that's why you're not moving. How does that go to? Okay, that goes to. Why are you so hard to move? <laughs> right? Actually, yeah. Can you grab me the, that, that up there? Probably gonna hurt it. Y'all probably gonna holler at me. But this here makes when the top is moving, thank you. When the top is moving, the record part, there's a wheel in here. Get you up a little higher. I got y'all hooked to my TV. Possum, leave it alone. This arm right here, when you're moving the the thing, it tells you well what size the record is. It ain't dropping like that. See, it should be moving like that. When it's down, it'll go up, but it won't go back down. So I don't know what intonations is going on, but I'm going to spray some double D on there. Hopefully it won't destroy it. WD-40 did it! <laughs> See? Watch it. That's all she needs is the spritz. Okay. Let me get some of this extra oil out of here. Can you, you go give me a paper towel? I thought you had to hand them over there. No. Oh, the, you work. That works. You got all the extra out of here. Thank you. Get a pep tie. Yep. <laughs> WD 40 fixes everything. So does duct tape. Yeah. 
Yep, enough tank is wonderful tool to have. Yep. And it does more than just not loosen anything up because it that WD-40 isn't a penetrant. It is a water displacement. Number 40. That's why it's WD-40. Anyways, let's move that around a little bit more. She's moving nice and smoothly. Now let's see if this thing... Okay, it's moving right here, so... Why are you a pain in my ass? Hey. Nope, that just pop right off. I'm glad I kept this thing. I know. Give me a minute. Now you coming apart, bitch. There. Now it should come off. Okay, where is it? Does it move that? Does it pop out of that? Does absolutely not a damn thing. God, I can smell that WD forty. It smells so good. I don't know what. It's only supposed to move one direction. I know. It is. I'm moving it the right way. But why is that acting weird? It should be going back and forth like that. There's a split in the um, arm that's making that move. <coughs> you see it? it? It just tripped. And it moves up and down. You move it forward, you can pick it up, and it'll stay up high. But watch when I turn it. it and it feels a little easier to turn. I know. Let's see if I can sh turn it and show y'all. 
right down in there. Right down in there, you can see a split just underneath this little metal bracket. I go the right way. Yeah, you can see it right there. Is that supposed to be doing that? It makes it, when you clip it down in there, it pulls back on that little thing that's in that middle of that split. But if you pick it up, it sets on top of it. But there's nothing here to make it where you could get it to do that. So, and it turns a little easier when it's like this than when it's like that. So, I don't know exactly why. There's a arm there. Why is that loose? Where does you go to? You go way back here. I think you're broke free. I don't think you should be. What was that for? Okay. There's that. I think we've got to push onto that. What the hell? Not a clue. Why is it so hard to turn? The motor shouldn't affect it on how it turns. So if I take that screw, oh well, hell, I gotta take all four of these screws out just to get this motor off. <coughs> Damn, what the hell? Uh, where's that flathead? Somewhere. There's the oil. Spray gun, sharpening stone, pliers, flathead. I did not want to do this, but looks like we're going there. There's a the screw. Luckily, we got little cup holders. Let's see if we can't move you there so you can. See what I'm doing. Now this is the part I really don't want to do, and that's these two. Because that holds this cap on, which holds that shit in there. And God knows what's going to happen when I lift it. leave these two separate from the other two. I know there's wires so I can't just jerk it off of here. Oh hell that's got a nut on it. Okay, so this must drive that wheel, which in turn is supposed to drive the turntable. Why ain't you turning the wheel? You should turn the wheel, which in turn turns the table. If only that thing could talk. Yes, very much so. <coughs> <coughs>
Okay, there's no resist or resist. Nothing holding it still or trying to. Something should be over here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the tire just needs to go over. Why are you loose? You should not be loose. Maybe that's up and drop. Because the tire's got to be over against this back side right here. Uh, if you turn the table, this whole side moves. The the part that's right here on the inside, it moves. Because if I drop that down and move the table, that whole wall moves. I heard something hit the floor. Screwdriver. So something is keeping. The tire that's right here, there's a tire right there. It's keeping it from going back against the wall of it. You see, yeah, see, there it's turning if you can see it. It is turning. Up, oh, just stopped. There should be some type of slight pressure that keeps it back against the wall. Yeah and there's not maybe I'm missing a spring there is a spring in there underneath this let's see because it did just move let's see okay how would you take that off There's guaranteed that there's for the spring. Yeah, that's for the spring. There's a little thing right here. Yeah, you can see it. It looks white. Shiny. Probably because the light's hitting it. Uh, anywho, <clears throat> the it's not keeping the pressure against the wall. So it will do that unless this but that's for what is what is which runs that? Okay. This goes over maybe So it's this is what holds the tension over to the wall. Is there it's got some pretty good tension. Let's see. Which is not turning it. Oh, it's on my leg. Nope. It's not. Okay, there is a spring right down there. Oh, hey, let's just put this uh, motor back on there really quick. So good. Tighten that back up. Because this one, it only takes these three to hold it on there.
you gotta take the wheel off, the turntable off. Because I think I see a screw for like a tensioner or something like that. Five minutes of me doing absolutely not a damn thing okay so we got to figure out how to get that off which is a pin right there This table should lift right off of here. <laughs> yeah, and it's not going to. Don't pry it off. What's that little hole over there? Is that a screw? This that? here? Yeah. Well, let's spin it and see if there's anything corresponds with it. A spider? <laughs> Nothing corresponds with it. So how does it come off of there? I'm just trying to shock it. I'm not trying to tear it up. It's trying. Try some double D. See if we can't work it down in there. Maybe you have to loosen it from the bottom. No, it should come right off now because they took the retaining pin off. Maybe I need something to go further up in here, like under this part. Well, we'll try doing that. Let's see. Okay, that's lifted. Unless that's part of it. Yeah, some of y'all probably done hollering at and telling me how to do it. Because right here is part of it, but it's not. The turn part should be separate. This here should be separate. the wall
Maybe it's for the thing to come out. Yep, that's what it is. Oh. Where the hell is it? Yeah. I think Ma was right. Well, at least now I don't have to take it off and clean it if necessary. Why would there's nothing holding it on? Hey, Ma, mm. I've been trying to go the wrong way. Well, I thought I was going the right way. supposed to keep it from going too far. What is that? What did that run? This thing. Okay, let's put the on and off switch. Okay, that's off. 
that's on. But you should, it shouldn't let it go so far. What is everything just so worn out? See? This thing here, once in a while jams. And then there jams. See? And then it stops moving. Once in a while it'll grab it. Anyhow, that's going to be probably a two-day video, uh, uploading-wise. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think. I know it's a hell of a long video, but maybe you learned something. Maybe you just learned that I'm an idiot. Anyways, let me know what y'all think. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, stay weird.